Interesting. I like the Dr. Mundo, but up against the Trundle, it's very hard to get into these fights and actually be incredibly effective. And there's a lot of ways to actually uh, get Grievous Wounds on this composition from Team Liquid. The thing that they have to watch out for on TL side, though, is over-indexing on physical damage versus a Mundo who will stack armor because it becomes very difficult to kill him. Now, the one saving grace they will have in a situation like that, as Kled Woo! is locked in as the answer to the Mundo, is the fact that Trundle does have one big target who he really wants to ult all the time. Trundle versus single main tank teams is a situation that that champion can really excel, can really shine. So as long as Trundle is able to subjugate that Mundo, you will see a reduction in his ability to be that, hey, I'm Mundo and I'm going to stack armor, have fun playing League of Legends. Yeah, it becomes very difficult. And Kled for impact, this is a champion that's going to help this melee composition that has the Ezreal as the primary source of uh, range damage get into the fights because it's all about that initiation later on, getting the Trundle and getting the Yasuo to just rush in and get to that backline. Reaching a Zyra is very difficult, but then Kled makes it a bit easier with the ultimate there. This is... He's got a lot of minions. The cannon minion, though. Back does get himself jumped on. Gonna be knocked off a of Scarl there. Sidesteps his way away from the Cleaver. No issue. Doesn't have to blow a summoner spell. Oh. Flashboard from Lyra, though. Able to find the knockup. Takes him down a little bit lower. Flash is coming out from both players on the side of Clutch Gaming. Impact has to respond with his own, but that's still a summoner spell gain overall for the side of Team Liquid as Smithy passes his way up here now, ready to make sure that Impact will not stand alone. Yeah, and now this is the time that you want to come in when the Flash is down from Solo. Lyra is there, though, to kind of counter. Impact almost remounted. Impact just about ready to get that health boost. Solo could be in some trouble here, taking it back underneath the turret. First blood over to Team Liquid in the top lane. And just more of those advantages they're building up here because of those small leads. Double if now going to take a lot of damage. Coming out from Ooh. Apollo, tries to get out. He's going to get himself the hourglass, but it's not enough. And they make the wrong decision. But right here, TP's coming in behind. It looks like one of, somebody's made the wrong decision here. Clutch could be in a lot of trouble. Decide to turn it around. Instead, they go right on to Ole. TP also going to be coming in to back them up. Hobelter getting himself away right back underneath the turret as Impact comes in. Looks to take down Hawkwell. He'll find himself one. Apollo going to be the next one to fall as it's two kills going the way of Team Liquid now. Looking to make it even more. Pobelter dashing back in. Looking Ooh. to find the knockoff. But a nice denial from Lyra. Pobelter down to 150 HP. And Pobelter actually face-checking. There's three people here. Pobelter finds Febben. He's saying, okay, I'm all right in this fight, but it's not just going to be this fight for much longer. Pobelter does use the last to get himself away. Ole takes a lot of damage there from Apollo. A couple more auto attacks could seal his fate, binding onto the enemy AD carry. But it's still Ole who finds himself in the dirt as now Lyra looks to potentially finish off POB. Won't quite be able to find the damage. Binding finds its way onto him. Does still have the ultimate available to try to disengage this one. Zyra ulti comes through. Solo, Solo. rotates his way over to the fight now Whoa. as well. Ole's going to be deleted. And Clutch Gaming pull Liquid's card and find two. A few minutes here as they are relegated to that top right corner of the map. Hakuo. Could potentially be very caught out here, thinking about maybe flashing over the wall, but realizes that Xmithy's right there, doesn't want to waste the cooldown instead. Using the Kled ultimate there, does end up getting the Swain ultimate out in exchange. Lyra decided to go right into the fight here, able to find Double Lift, gets him isolated. Double Lift forced to run over the Woo! wall, but Solo right there. And Double Lift is out, Impact is out, Team Liquid is in trouble, is Impact. Let's see if Clutch Gaming can get themselves in here in time. Baron going to be dropping rather rapidly, already down to about half HP. Aqua looking for the chance to maybe drop some big damage here in the fight. Oh, guns double him down over the wall. Feminine grabs the kill onto Poe Belcher. Both Clutch Gaming carries already killing their counterparts. Impact going to be in some trouble now. He goes golden, but it's not going to be golden enough. The Smithy the also base. out. The channel to get himself away. The TP into the base will likely end it right here. Ole, the last man standing, calls down the redemption, but they will not be redeemed today. Solo just waiting around for the rest of the team to arrive so they can put the final nail in the Team Liquid coffin. And that is insane. Scrims be damned. Clutch Gaming come in. Apollo's like, you know what? Use his confusion on TL, and it is super effective. Confuse him, abuse him. This guy has managed to take down Team Liquid in the same type of style. They beat Echo Fox yesterday, 12 to 4, 6-1-3 on the Lucian.